We've already been dealing with some delays across the Great Lakes, anywhere from Detroit back into Cleveland. We've had some heavy storms moving through already uh, from Detroit down into Cleveland. Sandusky also picking up on some of that heavier rain. We've already picked up about an inch and a half of rain just around the Wisconsin and the UP uh, of Michigan, the border there. And this, you can tell it's heavy by the yellows, the oranges, and the reds. It's quickly moving down toward Ohio. And by the time all is said and done, we're going to be dealing with thunderstorms that could even fire again in that that same location into the afternoon, but these are definitely going to be heading toward the northeast. Could even see some showers up toward Maine, but the main battle zone is going to be parts of New York down into Pennsylvania and even down into our nation's capital. Those steering winds basically making them move in a southeasterly fashion, firing on the rim of the heat and that heat. We're not kidding. We have temperatures widespread into the 90s, even Omaha pressing into the triple digits. And this is what it will feel like when you add in the heat and humidity. We could see our real fields coming in up to 105 anywhere around from Minneapolis into Chicago. So it's a little hot there. Now we're dealing with a bit of some rain coming in from uh, all that tropical moisture into the eastern Pacific. Not much now, but we could be looking at more flooding in some of those same areas like we saw on Monday. I'm Valerie Smock.